Right, okay, this is uh, the continuation of our downward travel. Okay, Dawn, when you're all ready. Okay, now, now this is the, uh, the last part of the Balakna Bar. And um, probably in terms of driving the easiest, um, but very often people are going faster towards you, so you've got to, there's a different kind of care you've got to have defensive driving at this particular point. And um, sections where you've got to just make sure that it doesn't build up too much speed to play with you. At uh, the time of day when we're starting to lose the light now, it's just gone nine o'clock. Just had a lovely tea in the Apple Cross Inn. Mm. Now, look down towards the um, Workshop where um, down below, where they actually built a massive yard to build the um, oil platform. It's quite tricky to get um, a close view of these things because of the way the headland conceals it. The road that seems to go on forever. It must be about ten miles long, or maybe even more. But unfortunately, you can't let yourself build up too much speed on it, um, just in case. So, um, <coughs> get to the easier section. to 
Park Cabin, where we're staying this evening. Tell we're at a much lower level now. We do certainly descended a long, long way. So there you go. Strange to have made uh, three videos, one after the other, of the ascent and descent of Black Nabar. Um, but I'm sure someone out there will want to see it. that's left in Kishore, 35 years after the platform was finished and sent out to sea. Where there were apparently 5,000 workers on site in this little sleepy corner of Scotland. The managers lived in Loch Harren, and the workers were living either on the site in a, a basically a, a billeted township that they built, including restaurants and all sorts of other facilities. Um, and there was even apparently a liner, a, a large liner which was out at sea, where there were so many people working at site that um, they were hot bedding in the liner, which means that they were. Um, when one person was finished his shift, he'd go to have a lie down. The chap that was starting had to jump up and start his shift. So um, very much like what they do in the Royal Navy, where they you know continue shift and use the same bunk. Anyway, there we are. So we're just about down now. Pretty much turn this corner, and we. To the other road down to Loch Carron. Well, what do you think about that as a ride, Dawn? Ride of my life. Uh huh. Thanks for that. <laughs> um, it's a bit like driving a big dipper, isn't it? I think Neil's going to enjoy this one. With, with gigantic edge. vehicles driving towards you, like this thing here. It's okay. I'm sure he won't be going to Apple Cross. He's going to that yard, isn't he? Looks pretty serious, anyway. Um, Nearly ran me off the road, but no worries, yeah, well, this we're is alive. Kind of normal. Yeah. Um, uh, it's quite a. Um, so he's going at the Black Bar. I don't think he will. No way. Not with that. Uh, where else is there for him to go? The yard. Oh, the yard. Kishorn Yard. What's that? You're making some sort of satirical remark. No, not that, at that all. That would be a first for you, Dawn. <laughs> okay. Road and down to the T junction 
and that's the end of the Black Navarre. Nice trip. So, to all our viewers, we hope you safely took the home, took up a home, and uh, it's a good night from me, and it's... Good night from him. Okay, that does it. Well done, Dawn. Wish I had some canned applause now. <laughs> Time for being. Uh, okay, guys. <laughs> <laughs>